Hi there, this is Deb. I'm just coming to give you a couple updates. Those of you who watched my first video, you know I was introducing myself and everything like that. Okay, but I'm from Michigan, of course. I'm a born-again Christian. I'm going to be moving to California really, really soon. So I just want to come and follow up on what I promised you I will probably be doing, showing you a couple tips, you know, as far as skin, hair, nails, makeup, etc., etc. Just going to give you a round down on my look today. Kind of a little coiffed. Just kind of go with the way my hair goes when I wrap it and just pin it up with a couple bobby pins. Put my headband on. I think it's through Goody. You get three in a pack. Get the black one, the brown one, the clear one. Okay, but anyways, today it's like more of a softer look. Have the tiger eye. I have um, the... NW40 Studio Fit Finish Concealer with SPF 35 through MAC. That's what I put on that dry lotion to wash my face, of course, and dry it off really, really good. Okay, for the eyes, I use the Medium Dark Pre Prep and Prime, and this is through MAC as well. It kind of, when you put it on your eyes, before your eyeshadow, it kind of like start the eyeshadow from rolling all up and Get it kind of out of place and just sort of because sometimes when you don't have a prep and prime or a good base, your eyeshadow, if you use the gel kind like me a little bit, can roll up or just look tacky, you know, wear off throughout the day. So it gives you a longer lasting result. All right. I have more natural makeup, of course. I use the Deep, which is pretty similar to my complexion, just one shade darker. And it's through Femme Couture. And it's the mineral effects and it's a mineral foundation very loose powder okay didn't put any powder on today but MAC powder is pretty good I usually get the loose um, Revlon color stay is what I use on my eyes for the eyeshadow it's the tiger eye mineral eyeshadow and then you have the dark delight for the highlights of course you have the medium for the lids. All right. Moving on down. Am I? Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. I use the Revlon Lash Fantasy. And it comes with the primer and the mascara on here. Step one and step two, you can get this at any local CVS, your pharmacy store. All right. And for my eyeliner which is a good question. I usually like the liquid, but this is very, very good as well. It's the Revlon Color Stay, and it lasts a really, really long time. I think I had this eyeliner for probably about three months now, and it's probably almost full, you know? Really, really good product, Revlon Color Stay. All right, and of course, I have my blush brush. Not really a name brand <laughs> blush brush, but and kind of wing it up there and I also this is a brush through cover girl I use for like powder but I usually have a bigger brush but this is fine for me okay here's another powder brush that I might use to kind of smooth it in there here's another thing I use I use the Revlon Kabuki brush, and it's for mineral foundation makeup, okay? You do have brushes for mineral foundation, so it's really, really good. It gives you a really, really even tone complexion. All right. And the blush I use is the Powder Palette Multicolor Blush Blushing Rose, and it's through Physician's Formula. And this will last you, I'm telling you. I can't even tell you how long I probably had this, and I use it all the time, and it gives you a really, really nice rosy cheek. Okay. And for the lipstick, oh, no, no, my concealer fell. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get it. I use the Blush Melon, and this is through, wait a minute. Okay, Femi Couture. And you can find this at any Sally's Beauty Supply. Your local Sally's Beauty Supply, you can get this color lipstick. Zoom one in there for you. And for my liner, 
I used this Palladio or Palladio. I don't know how I really pronounce it. Herbal Lip Liner. Okay. And this is the Plum. And I line my lips with it. You can rarely tell, but I think it's a good blend if you're just going for a subtle look. Okay. Of course, before you even do anything to your lips, you either A, need a base or Carmax, honey. Yes, Carmax is really, really good base. And it keeps your lips from getting dry, especially in the wintertime. Okay, everybody need a good Carmax, you know. Okay, and for my lip liner, I use the clear. And it's through Palladio, Palladio Couture Herbal Lip Licious. Gives you a really, really nice sheen. You only have to put a little bit on. You don't want to go overboard with the lipstick or a lip gloss or anything, especially when you're trying to give a really, really subtle look, okay? All right, I think that's all I have to show you how I achieve this look. All right. Okay, and hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my products. Going to definitely give you guys a nice, nice tutorial on how I put together some of my really, really natural looks. And sometimes I'll spice it up. I'll put like a little light liner. It just really depends. But for everyday makeup, this is a really, really nice look. Um, also going to be bringing some more tutorials coming up in the next couple weeks. Going to be relocating to California, a little bit outside of L.A., me and my husband. So, therefore, we're doing a lot of moving right now, so I'm not really able to give you guys a tutorial. Everything's kind of just everywhere right now and really, really not a good idea, you know. But I'm going to keep my promise, keep making videos. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot in store for you guys. You're going to learn some of my skin tips, some of my tips I use for the skin. Learn how to have flawless skin. I never had acne. I rarely get pimples. It'll be once every four to six months, if that. Sometimes I've went years without getting a pimple, so therefore it can be achieved. Um, I have kind of funny eyebrows, actually. I just want to show you guys this. So therefore, I don't do my eyebrows the same way a lot of women on YouTube do their eyebrows. And I can kind of show people who have similar eyebrows like me. Well, my eyebrows are kind of thick in, in the front and they kind of slant downwards and your eyebrows slant downward you get kind of a sad face look to you and so I have to shave that part off and I have to draw the liner and I'll show you guys a really really good tip on how to blend that in as well um, my hair of course I told you guys I have the goodie headband um, I'm with Rena Black to clear the brown and black I have a black headband on today it just kind of poofed it up. It gives you a really, really nice polished look for every day. Very, very simple, of course. All right. Well, thank you for watching my video. Go ahead and subscribe. This is Debstar08. Well, you can call me Deb. And I'll be coming back with more videos for you all. Thank you and have a blessed day.